Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video on my channel here in Lish. You see, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned on the latest hair loss news. Also, make sure to subscribe to my Instagram and Facebook if you guys have not done so. Info is going to be in the description box below. I'm actually going to be start doing some free giveaways so you guys will be notified through social media. Also, visit hairlicious.com for all of your micro needling needs, your DHT blocking shampoo, which is finally back in stock, and I also have a DHT blocking supplement and topical that is going to be coming up in the next few weeks. So today I actually wanted to talk about a 2018 startup biotech company based in California called Stemson Therapeutics, which was founded by Dr. Tershkik and Dr. Hamilton. So Stemson Therapeutics, um, you know, amongst many companies is in the works for finding a solution to creating unlimited supply of donor hair by creating something known as hair inducing derma papilla cells using induced pluripotent stem cells. They're also called IPS cells and IPS cells pretty much are a type of pluripotent stem cell that can be generated directly from adult cells and the technology was first pioneered in a lab in Japan. So go figure Japan. This was back in 2006 and it was pretty promising in the fact that the introduction of four specific genes encoding transcription factors could convert adult stem cells into pluripotent stem cells. So the cool thing about this is that it's not only going to be you know important for hair but also for regenerative medicine since iPS cells can multiply indefinitely and it can give rise to every other cell type in the body and eventually represent a single source of cells that could be used to replace those that are lost to damage or disease so this can be you know eye-opening for things like a new kidney a new liver um, a new you know eyeball anything like that so in a more recent presentation at the annual meeting of the international society for stem cell research stem cell therapeutics revealed their study which involved the human stem cells being combined with mice epithelial cells and attached to a 3d biodegradable scaffold which was made from similar materials to dissolvable stitches the cool thing about this is that the scaffold acts as a growing environment for the derma papilla cells as well as controlling the direct direction of hair growth and enables the stem cells to integrate into the skin. Now they still obviously have to overcome the task of just using human cells which is currently being researched. 2000 years later. But here is an image of hair growth in nude mice transplanted with human IPSC derived derma papilla cells that were combined with mouse epithelial cells inside a biodegradable scaffold. The left image that you guys are seeing right here is the hair follicle growth on the mouse and the right is a fluorescent microscopy image of hair follicles under the skin. The blue that you guys see is the cell nuclei and the green is the epithelial cells and the red is the human derma papilla cells. So the interesting part is that if stem cell is able to use human epithelial stem cells with the derma papilla cells to create hair follicles instead of with mice, they would be capable of allogeneic transplantation in humans. So this would be huge since allogeneic transplantation allows the use of hair follicle stem cells from somebody else. So you don't necessarily have to use your own stem cells. And I did cover, I believe a video similar to this topic last time regarding Seoul National University Hospital and their research on dendritic cells and ultraviolet B irradiation where they actually used radiation to block certain types of cells and they were actually able to proceed with allogeneic hair transplantation. But like I said, if stem cell is able to overcome this, uh, hair follicles from a different donor or source would be possible to transplant without having to harvest the patient's own cells. Now, the other interesting aspect is that in past research and studies, new hair growth was underneath the skin while this new concept produced hair follicles above and through the skin in a uniform pattern. So the process, at least on paper, seems to be fairly straightforward. And according to Stemson, it would pretty much be a very simple procedure. They would simply just have to draw blood to receive the cells, which would then be converted into induced pluripotent stem cells, which then would eventually be converted into human derma papilla cells and epithelial cells. Now, this is all relatively new, so we still have a long way to go. And until one of these companies actually can show a bald man with a full set of hair, it's just all going to be talk and research and 
Uh, as far as Samson Therapeutics, it's going to be years before anything commercializes and it still has to go through the rigorous process of human clinical trials before everything else succeeds. Uh, the other interesting thing that I found about this company is that they actually just secured a multi-million dollar investment with a big pharmaceutical company that you guys are all familiar with known as Allergan. This is still good news because they can help advance Samson's final product development in preparation for human clinical trials. And like I said, this is big news because Allergan sees the strong potential in stem cell therapeutics in their iPS cells, not just for hair follicle replication, but also in more broad terms of regenerative medicine therapies in the future. So I hope that this was an interesting video and it's always good to, you know, not only see new companies with new concepts, but I always feel that it's going to be a progress forward. Um, I still think that our closest bet is still going to be Shiseido's RCH01 and we obviously have to still wait for their announcement on the results which is supposed to actually take place in the next month or two based on an email that we received a few months ago. It's always good news to have different options and different treatments since you know, certain types of treatments can only work better for certain people while it might not work for other people. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me some comments and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care.